The MetaQuest has thousands of titles you can add to your library, but what about the 2D games that you already own on Steam? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Game Native to run a decent amount of your Steam library directly on your headset. We're not gonna be playing Cyberpunk or Half-Life Alex here, but lighter games like Hollow Knight, Celeste, and plenty of other indie and older titles will work great on your Quest 3. Let's get started. To start, you'll need your MetaQuest, a phone with the Meta Horizon app, access to a computer that you can install programs on, a USB-C cable, Able to connect your headset to your computer and a Meta Horizon developer account. If you don't have one of those, don't worry, it's free and you'll be prompted to create one as we follow the steps here. You'll only need to do this once and you can sideload anything you want afterwards. You'll also want a proper Bluetooth controller as the buttons on these don't register in Game Native as a controller. If you've sideloaded apps with SideQuest before, you can skip to this timestamp here to skip straight to downloading Game Native. First, we'll get your headset ready for sideloading. Start by opening the Meta Horizon app on your phone with your headset nearby and visit your headset settings. Then click on developer settings. If you don't have a developer account, you'll have a prompt here to enter into your browser and create one. Otherwise, make sure that the developer mode switch is toggled on. That lets us sideload third-party apps like Game Native onto your headset through a computer. Once that's toggled on, you shouldn't need your phone again. If you're more technically inclined and have your own preferred ways to sideload apps over ADB, you can skip to this timestamp here. Otherwise, you'll want to install SideQuest onto your computer. That's how I personally install third-party apps onto my headset, and it gives you a bunch of other helpful utilities to browse files, mirror your screen, etc. It's also an entire third-party app store. On your computer, head to sidequestvr.com in your browser and click on Get SideQuest within the sidebar. You'll have two options here. Make sure you download the SideQuest desktop app and not the VR app. The VR app is great, it lets you access the app store from within your headset, but it doesn't let us install third-party APKs. I'm on an Apple Silicon Mac here, so I'll be downloading the version for Mac OS on ARM. Once you have downloaded it, install and run the program. Hello to everyone who skipped to this timestamp. Next, we'll grab the APK for Game Native. Click the link in the description to get to the GitHub page for Game Native, and click on the latest version under the Releases heading on the right-hand side of your screen. Download the .apk file associated with that release by clicking on the link for it under Assets. Now we'll use SideQuest to get Game Native over to your headset. Make sure that SideQuest is open, then grab your USB-C cable and plug your headset into your computer. On Mac, allow the connection with the prompt that appears on screen, and then allow ADB debugging from within your headset. If nothing happens when you plug your headset in, make sure that you have a cable capable of data transfer. The cable that was included with your headset should work just fine here, although it is only USB 2, so transfers might be a bit slower. Once you've allowed ADB debugging, you should see your headset in the top left-hand side of the screen with its battery level. If you're experiencing any issues, that portion of your screen should also have some basic troubleshooting steps to follow. On the other side of the SideQuest window in the top right, click on this 3x3 grid to get to the app section and drag your game native APK straight into the window. The APK is just under a gigabyte, so it might take a sec to finish sideloading. At the bottom left of your screen, you'll get a confirmation once it's started and finished installing, and you can click on this icon here in the top right to see a more permanent status indicator. As soon as it finishes installing, you can disconnect your headset. From this point on, everything is happening in your quest. No computer required. Inside your headset, open the main app screen and navigate over to unknown sources. This is where every app that doesn't come from the Meta Store will go for any future sideloading activities that you may have. You should see Game Native there. If not, restart your headset to see if that makes it appear, and if that doesn't work, give the sideload process another go. There's a possibility it could have disconnected the headset early or that something else went wrong. Open up Game Native and you'll see a Steam login screen. As a note of warning, while this software is open source and seems to be well trusted within the Android emulation community, you are also giving your Steam credentials to a third party program. I'm not responsible for any harm this causes, and it is on you to make sure that your Steam account is locked down and doesn't share passwords with other websites. With that being said, after you log into Steam, here, you'll see a list of games populate within your headset. Don't install any just yet, we'll need to make a configuration change to the default container settings first. Click on your profile picture up here, which is also where you can set your Steam Online status, click settings, then modify default config. In here, change the graphics drivers over to Vortec Universal. If you don't do this, the app will either crash entirely, or you'll get a DirectX error on every game that you try. You can do this after you download games, but if you have games downloaded already, you need to go and change it for each individual game. The DX wrapper in that option should also also change to VKD3D when you make that adjustment, but do change it to that if it doesn't set automatically. Save your configuration with the button in the top right. Once that's configured, you're all set to start downloading your games. There's going to be a fair bit of trial and error getting things up and running, but Game Native will let you download literally anything in your library to give it a go. You can download games by clicking on open, then just hit install. On the first time you try to install a game, you'll get this pop-up asking for file system access. 
make sure that save my preference is checked, then click allow. I'd also recommend keeping the app open and visible during game downloads. I accidentally opened an immersive app which messed with all my downloads and I had to go and restart them. 2D apps that open in side by side in that little multitasking view should be fine, so you can pull up Instagram to doom scroll some reels. Once your games are downloaded, put the game native window to a horizontal aspect ratio, get your controller connected and launch up a game. The first time you do launch a game, it is going to take a fair amount of time, like a few minutes or so, as it downloads all of the required dependencies and that, but any subsequent game launches after that should be fairly quick. The games I tried all ran excellently, once I figured out I needed to change the graphics drivers, and the game native launcher seems to have pretty good compatibility on flat screen Android devices with heavier titles, so it might be worth trying some out. Again, I tried Hollow Knight, Silk Song should work, uh, although I don't own it, so I can't test it myself. If you're like me and you own things like a Retroid Pocket 5 and you're well versed in this sort of thing, you might have noticed I omitted the app Game Hub here, which is another similar app that can supposedly have more compatibility. However, from taking a look around at sentiment from within the emulation community, it doesn't seem to be very safe, asking for a lot of unneeded permissions on first launch and being closed sourced and all. It should technically work here and you should be able to get it running on your Quest, but I haven't tested it and I'd recommend sticking to Game Native. And that's it. You can now play a good amount of your PC Steam library right on your Quest, making that game library that you already have even bigger than before. If you like what you watch or if this helped you out at all, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, also obligatory, I'm gonna be at PAX Oz Mansion here. Tickets are still available for Friday and Sunday and you don't have long to get everything booked. So, you know, come hang out, say hi, play some games, etc. You can follow me over on Instagram and everything else with the links on screen and in the description below. And you can click on one of these videos right next to my head if you're after something else. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.